Facebook pages for brands are bullshit. I mean, they're fun and harmless and a nice way to keep interns busy, but they don't really contribute to your brand or your business or your likability. Now, that is what a lot of marketeers or brands must be thinking. And if you are one of them, then I don't blame you. Because try as you might, you are not getting the results that were promised to you. Results like sales or likability, uh, loyalty or brand ambassadorship, all those pretty stories. Results that were promised to you in a million books and all those presentations about social media. And like I said, I, I don't blame you if you look at it now after having tried it and think kind of, eh, you know, it was fun while it lasted, but... Now, what I don't want to do today is explain what social media is or how it works, uh, because there are a million people before me who have explained that much better than I ever could. What I instead want to do is help you realize why it's not working the way you want it to and offer up a solution to a way that it can. Now, the reason it's not working is actually very simple. And I've really tried to phrase this in a way that doesn't make me come off as a jerk or like the big city snob, uh, but I can't, so sorry. Uh, the reason it's not working is that um, you're doing it wrong. <laughs> Thanks. You fail to grasp exactly what makes Facebook tick. And you're doing way too much of all the things that you shouldn't do and way too little of all the things that you should. But fortunately, I have a solution. Wouldn't be standing here if I didn't, right? And the solution is very easy, again, and it's easy to implement by everyone because it revolves around a time, a very special time that we've all been through, high school. Now, my high school was like most other high schools. Oh, pl bless you. A place where uh, opinions and emotions and hormones were kind of flying around all the time. And like most other high schools, it was a place that had a very unique, specific set of social rules. And it was a long time for me ago, but I, I do remember when I was in high school, I thought that life would always be that way, uh, that those rules would apply to life forever, and they didn't, right? I mean, high school ended for all of us, uh, and the friends that we vouched to never forget, we don't really see them anymore, um, and everything about high school, including and especially those very specific social structures, they kind of faded away. Although... You see, my generation is Generation Y, which is the generation that you are probably targeting right now if you are in marketing. And my generation is very unique in a lot of ways. And one of the most interesting things, I think, is that we graduated high school at a very opportune time, the time of the internet. And in the internet, we have found a place where we can let that high school mentality, mentality and all those teenage rules roam free and live on forever. And at the center, of that internet is a place that I think we are all members of, a schoolyard that we call Facebook. Now, there are a lot of similarities between Facebook and a high school. They are both places that you come to and also leave on a daily basis. They are places where even though you are your own name and you are yourself, there is kind of a distance between your actual life and your life in that place which means that you can say things here that you would never say here because you, can know, you, because you know you can always go home again. They are places that deal with prejudice and uh, tastemakers and cliques of people. They are places where small mistakes can become huge scandals and places where everyone loves a scandal. So this is a nice example. Uh, a girl walks into an Albert Heijn supermarket, right? And she buys a 500 milliliter pack of milk. Now, she starts cooking, she pours it into her measuring cup, and oh shit, it's 400 milliliters. She was like, what the hell? So she took a picture, she went to Facebook, to the Albert Heijn page, posted this picture, and said, Albert Heijn, what the hell? Please note the 21,000 likes that this picture got. <laughs> 3,000 comments and 1,000 shares. What this reminds me of, more than anything, is high school. Or another example, I'm not sure if your mom is on Facebook. Um, I love my mom, but even my mom, if your mom comments on your Facebook post, right, or on your status, 
Doesn't it kind of feel like she's bringing your lunch to school? It's like an invasion of space, right? Right. Sorry, Mom. And herein lies the clue, I believe, if you want to be more successful as a brand on Facebook. You should start viewing Facebook as a high school yard. And as a brand, you are just one of the kids, one of the many kids. And if you don't do anything, then maybe no one will pay attention to you, and that's fine. But if you want to be more popular, then you have to act, right? And so the question becomes, how? Well, take your brand, put them on that schoolyard. What kind of a kid are you? Are you tall, short, fat, skinny? Are you easy to talk to or really shy? And then with the intelligence and the life experience that you have now as adults, how would that kid become more popular? And then that's your recipe right there. So I want to do a few examples to really illustrate my point. So first up is Heineken. Now, we all think of Heineken as a pretty cool brand, but if you look at Heineken through the filter of high school, then it's beer, right? And beer is not very glamorous, it's not very luxurious. It's, you know, normal, pretty cheap. It's the drink of the people. So when I think of Heineken on that schoolyard, I think of a um, little shortish, kind of fat-ish, fat, well, maybe chubby-ish, very nice boy from pretty normal parents. And if that boy wants to become popular, what he shouldn't do is brag about sex and drugs and rock and roll, trying to convince all the other kids what kind of a player he is. He also shouldn't try to outsmart the smart kids because he's probably not that smart. And he shouldn't try to out-tough the tough kids because he's too normal. What that kid should do is be funny and witty, show some personality, make every day a party, become the class clown, right? I speak from experience. Um, <laughs> And I don't believe it's a coincidence that that is exactly what Heineken does on Facebook all the time. Everything they do is funny, witty, and is about creating a party. But that is kind of a cop-out example, right? I mean, humor works on Facebook. Well, humor works in every sing uh, social situation. You know, thanks, Captain Obvious. Um, but not all kids are born with a funny bone. And neither are all brands, I know that. So say you are not Heineken. Say you are uh, a very technological company, you make computers or whatever, then you're probably a lot more like a nerdy kid, right, with glasses, who spends his entire Sunday in his attic making robots or whatever. That's fine, but that kid cannot try, try to be funny and witty because he's probably not very funny and witty, and that wouldn't really work. But imagine that kid walking up to the prettiest girl in school, and instead of talking about his robots, he grabs her phone and said, by the way, did you know if you do this and this, if you change this, whatever, then this happens. And the girl's like, hmm, okay. Imagine that kid hacking into the school servers and getting the uh, answers to the next chemistry exam. I think he will get invited to the next party. <laughs> now, I can think of a million more examples of, of this uh, theory, but I don't have time. So I want to focus on one more which is a very specific type of brand, which we call the provider, right? So that's a provider of uh, cable or internet or power or warmth. Now, these brands, these kids, as it were, they don't really belong on that schoolyard because they don't party with all the other kids. Their job is to make all the other kids' lives better, right? They have to support the other kids' life. So maybe they're not a kid at all. Maybe they're more like the janitor or the concierge of a school, right? Whose job it is to make sure that the school is running properly. Now, in my high school, we had a very funny janitor who was always bumming us for smokes and uh, joking with us and sitting with us and laughing with us. And that was awesome because the school was running properly. Imagine that janitor, right? The toilets are overflowing, all the trash cans are full, and that janitor is in the school lounge with us smoking and cracking jokes. We will be like, uh, dude, what the hell? You should be doing your job, right? So this is AT&T, a provider, who posted a picture about the new iPhone. And there's no easier way into people's hearts than with the new iPhone, right? So they posted this, and then the first, very first comment they got on Facebook was, uh, is it going to be available before the iPhone 6 comes out, or are you going to keep saying out of stock every time I show up at your store? <laughs> For these brands, the message is, do your job. 
The janitor should show the other kids that he's doing his job, and then the jokes come later. Now, there's two more points that I want to make. One, don't talk about your product. Imagine you're a kid, right? And you spend every single break talking about what you just learned in class. How much do you think the other kids would like you? Because they came to the schoolyard for a break. And Facebook is also a break. Don't bother people. The second point I want to make is that I know that there must be a lot of marketeers who are either in this room or on the web, whatever, who are thinking, yeah, you know, I get what you mean. Uh, I might even agree with you, but we just can't. You know, there's a manager who does this, or there's too much pressure on this, too little pressure on that, and we just can't follow these rules. I can imagine that. But then I have to ask, maybe you shouldn't be on Facebook, and that's fine. You know, there's a reason that some kids are homeschooled. <laughs> if you can be on Facebook, and I really suggest it because I believe in it more than anything, then I suggest you try this. It may not solve all your problems, but it will at least give you a first glimpse uh, to evaluate what you should do and what you shouldn't do in an understandable way for everyone. And on a side note, I believe this works with people too, not just brands, but that's another story. So if you can follow these rules, then I suggest you take your pick and get to work. Thank you.